begin, and then the Father and the Son, and then the Holy Spirit. We greetings and we welcome you, and we ask the parents, what is the name you have given your child? Mary Isabel. Mary Isabel. And what do you ask of God's church for Mary Isabel? Baptism. Baptism. You have asked to have your child baptized. In doing so, you are accepting the responsibility of training her in the practice of the faith. It will be your duty to bring her up to keep God's commandments as Christ taught us. By loving God and our neighbors, do you clearly understand what you are undertaking? Yes. Godparents, are you ready to help the parents of this child in their duty as Christian parents? Yes. Mary Isabel, the Christian community welcomes you with great joy. In its name, I claim you for Christ our Savior by the sign of his cross. And now the trace the cross on your forehead and invite your parents and godmother to do the same. Oops, there you go. sisters, let us ask our Lord Jesus Christ to look lovingly on this child who is to be baptized. May he look lovingly on our parents and godmother on all the baptized. By the mystery of your death and resurrection, bathe this child in light. Give her the new life of baptism and welcome her into your holy church. Lord, hear our prayer. Through baptism and confirmation, make her your faithful follower and a witness to your gospel. Lord, hear our prayer. Lead her by a holy life to the joys of God's kingdom. Lord, hear our prayer. Should the lives of her parents and godmother be examples of faith? Lord, hear our prayer. Keep her family always in your love. Renew the grace of our baptism in each one of us. Lord, hear our prayer. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray, pray for us. us. Saint John the Baptist, pray, pray, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray, pray for us. Saint Peter and Saint Paul, pray, pray, pray for us. All holy men and women, pray, 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 pray for us. Almighty and ever living God, you sent your only Son into the world to cast out the power of Satan, spirit of evil, to rescue mankind from the kingdom of darkness and bring us into the splendor of your kingdom of light. We pray for this child, set her free from original sin, make her a temple of your glory, and send your Holy Spirit to dwell with her. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Can we just open up our desk? Oh. We anoint you with the oil of salvation in the name of Christ our Savior. May he strengthen you with his power to live in lands forever and ever. It's okay, it's okay. Good girl, good girl. That's all, that's all. May you have strength in the power of Christ our Savior to live in the lands ever and ever. My dear brothers and sisters, we now ask God to give this child a new life and abundance through water and the Holy Spirit. Father, you give us grace through sacramental signs which tell us of the wonders of your unseen power. In baptism, we use your gift of water which you have made a rich symbol of the grace you give us in this sacrament. 
At the very dawn of creation, your spirit breathed on the waters, making them the wellsprings of all holiness. The waters of the great flood, you made a sign of the waters of baptism, that make an end of sin and a new beginning of goodness. Through the waters of the Red Sea, you led Israel out of slavery to be an image of God and people set free from sin by baptism. In the waters of the Jordan, your son was baptized by John and anointed with the Spirit. Your son willed that water and blood should flow from his side as he hung upon the cross. After his resurrection, he told his disciples, go out and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Father, look now with love upon your church, and unseal for it the fountain of baptism. By the power of the Holy Spirit, give to this water the grace of your Son, so that in the sacrament of baptism, all those whom you have created in your likeness may be cleansed from sin and rise to a new birth of innocence by water and the Holy Spirit. We ask you, Father, with your Son, to send the Holy Spirit upon the waters of this spot. May all who are buried with Christ in the death of baptism rise also with him in the of life. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Dear parents and godparents, you have come here to present Mary Isabel for baptism. By water and the Holy Spirit, she is to receive the gift of new life from God who is love. On your part, you must make it your constant care to bring her up in the practice of the faith. See that the divine life which God gives her is always kept safe from the poison of sin, to grow always stronger in her heart. If your faith makes you ready to accept this responsibility, renew the, the vows of your own baptism, reject sin, profess your faith in Christ Jesus. This is the faith of the church. This is the faith in which this child is about to be baptized. Do you reject sin so as to live in the freedom of God's children? I do. I do. Do you reject the glamour of evil and refuse to be mastered by sin? I do. Do you reject Satan, father of sin and prince of darkness? I do. Do you believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth? I do. I do. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary and crucified, died and was buried, rose from the dead and is now seated at the right hand? Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body and life everlasting? I do. I do. This is our faith. This is the faith of the church. We are proud to profess it in Christ Jesus, our Lord. Amen. Is it your will that Mary Isabel should be baptized in the faith of the church, which we have all professed with you? Yes. yes. Okay, and bring her up and hand over the phone. Oh. Let Jessica hold her. Mary Isabel, I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The God of power and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ has freed you from sin and brought you to new life. Through water and the Holy Spirit, and now he anoints you with the chrism of salvation, so that united with his people, you will be forever a member of Christ and his priest, prophet, and king. Amen. Mary, Isabel, you have become a new creation and have clothed yourself in Christ. See in this white garment the outward sign of your Christian dignity with your family and friends to help you by word and example. Bring that dignity unstained into the everlasting life of heaven. Amen. Amen. She's like, that's very soft. <laughs> Your 
Receive the light of Christ, the parents and godparents, godmother, this light is entrusted to you to be kept burning brightly. This child of yours has been enlightened by Christ. She is to walk always as a child of the light. May she keep the flame of faith alive in our heart. When the Lord comes, may she go out to meet him with all the saints in the heavenly kingdom. The Lord Jesus made the deaf hear the dumb speak. May he soon touch your ears to receive his word and your mouth to proclaim his faith to the praise and glory of God the Father. Amen. You have put on Christ, Mary Isabel, and him you have been baptized. Alleluia, alleluia. Dear be dearly beloved, this child has been reborn in baptism. She is now called the child of God, for so indeed she is. In confirmation, she will receive the fullness of God's spirit. In Holy Communion, she will share the banquet of Christ's sacrifice, calling God her Father in the midst of the church. In the name of this child, in the spirit of our common sonship, daughtership, let us pray together in the words our Lord has given us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. God the Father, through his Son, the Virgin Mary's child, has brought joy to all Christian mothers, as they see the hope of eternal life shine on in their children. May he bless the mother of this child. She now thanks God for the gift of her child. May she be one with her in thanking him forever in heaven in Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. God is the giver of all life, human and divine. May he bless the father of this child. He and his wife will be the first teachers of their child in the ways of faith. May they be also the best of teachers, bearing witness to the faith by what they say and do in Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. By God's gift through water and the Holy Spirit, we are born, reborn to everlasting life. In his goodness, may he continue to pour out his blessings upon this daughter of his. May he make her always, wherever she may be, faithful member of his holy people. May he send his peace upon all who are gathered here in Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. Amen. And may Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit bless us. Amen. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Great. Thank you so much. Thank you so much.